Hey, what's up guys? Today, I thought I'd show you how we make our big head graphics. It's baseball season here in Columbus County, North Carolina, and we are basically the mecca of baseball in North Carolina. Um, we got a lot of, uh, Mackenzie Gore is a pitcher that's come from here, Hunter Green. Um, God. Who's the guy that played for the Braves? Really good. Anyways, we've had a ton of professional players come through here. Um, I'm not from here, but I have a cousin that played in the major leagues. Madison Bumgarner is my cousin. But there, we got three or four teams going to uh, Dixie Youth World Series. Um, and we got some big heads that were ordered. And I thought I'd show you guys how we do this. Otis Nixon, that's who I was trying to think of that played for the Braves. I think he, the world knows him as Otis Nixon, but everyone here in Columbus County knows his name is Otis Nixon. But we used to get these done at Science 365 and that process meant we had to crop out the heads. Um, and even after we started doing this in-house, I was still cropping out the heads and I finally realized, what am I doing here? I'm gonna cut this out with the blade anyways so, no need to do that. Someone on the print fam said using a multi, an oscillating multi-tool with a hook attachment is the way to cut these things out. I tried this and just on a test piece, I've been afraid to do it on a real thing because it didn't work very good. And this blade is so, so sharp. Um, I'm gonna give it another go and I'll have you guys watch me and then I'll show you the method that I like to use. First thing I like to do is go ahead and just cut these squares out that way. It's a lot easier to work with. All right, let's see how well this bad boy can cut this out. Could be user error, I just don't know how to do it. I don't know. Um, I've used these many times, but never for like craftsmanship, you know. I'm usually just hacking away at something. So maybe it's me, but it doesn't want to cut. It's really, especially on the diagonal uh, across the grain of the chloroplast. And then it wants to get loose and like kind of go on a run on you. So I don't know. Uh, that person on the print fam, I wonder if they actually have used this. And if so, maybe they should do a video and show me how to do it. Here's how I do it. I just like the standard ergonomic box blade. Um, something nice and thick that you could hold on to.
Boom. It's a big head. Oh, it's huge. And doesn't take that long to cut out with a box cutter. And uh, it's nice and quiet. Now I was three and a half hours away in Charlotte, North Carolina, and my son points to me and says, Dad, look, that lady has a Mr. Postman print shop sticker. And what she had was a fat head um, that she was holding down. And on the back of it was my Mr. Postman sticker. So now the sticker's on there. This is actually complete. And then people know um, where this is ordered from. Because these fat heads are typically ordered in groups of parents. And one parent is usually in charge of the procurement of said big heads. And so now every single parent is definitely going to know who made these. So, little tip for you. That's how we make print heads, y'all. I do appreciate you guys tuning in. I will catch you in the next one. Take care.